Dynamite, it is Crash Master, and welcome to another unboxing video of Pokemon Trading Cards. Yes, might we are doing some more unboxings on the channel once more, or I guess unpacking? Not all of them are in boxes, so it's more like unpacking, right? Because they're, yeah, because they're in packs, so it is more unpacking than unboxing. But anyway, um, if you haven't seen the last video, which I probably recommend because this is basically a part two of that because I didn't want them to be too, too long, um... Half an, hour, half an hour is usually, like, my limit, just about. So, basically... <clears throat> sorry. Basically, um, my experience with Pokemon... I've watched the anime for years. I haven't played too many of the games, because I just didn't really get into it that much, and I didn't play them consistently. Um, let me see. The training cards I've been a fan of for literal years, since childhood. I actually had, like... A, I don't think I even said this last time. I actually used to carry a binder full of, like, the mites. Like, a full-on binder of them. And it was actually very, very, um, it was actually really cool. I even had, like, at the front of, like, the binder where you could put in, like, that little plastic at the front of some of them. I had, like, a giant Samurai card, and it was so cool. I don't know, for the love of God, what happened to them. I think I gave some of them to my cousin. I'm not sure if he threw them away or lost them, or if I got them, some of them, and lost them. Because I found out at some point that some of these are actually really rare. I still have, like, my personal decks and stuff like that, and my personal favorite amounts with me. But... Is a thing where I have no idea what happened to them. At, you know, I'm on and off of Pokemon, honestly. I fell off with XY and XYZ. Because Sun and Moon really didn't interest me. Journeys, I just didn't really get into. Because there was so much other stuff to get into at the time for me. And more other stuff. And the new anime is something I'm debating on if I should do it anymore. It is a fresh start, but I'm like... I don't know if I'm really a big fan of Pokemon anymore. It's more like I like the Pokemon itself and the designs. Some of the character and the character designs are cool, which segues, which segues nicely into what we're doing right now, Pokemon training. So last time, if you haven't seen the last video, Mars, let me just, uh, let me see. Where are the, where's the cover for that one? Where, where is it? Oh god, I had to segue and everything, and I and I failed. Oh no no no, it's right here. So last time I I did uh, unpacking slash unboxing because these are actually in containers, not boxes. But what whatever, I did unboxing of two Sword and Shield s uh, cards uh, boxes right here. I got it at a convention a while back. We had Hop and Marie or Ma Mari. Uh, I'm gonna say Mari. Hop and Mari, two characters that I actually uh, like a lot. Uh, based on the design, some of their characteristics, stuff like that. I haven't played Sword and Shield. I probably It probably would be one of the only Pokemon games I would try just to see because I like the characters from what I know and their designs. But I did show off two more that I didn't get to do because the video would have gone on too long and I'm not trying to risk that. So right here, I got two more mods. We have Bede, who has a really, really cool uh, song. Uh, like a lot of the music, actually some of them, like I know... I know for a fact, um, um, Mari's theme is actually very, very cool too. And then you have, um, Bede's song, which is uh, his music in the, when you play the game. It's actually really, really nice as well. So here's Bede, B-E-D-E. -E. And then you have the professor of the game, another <laughs> professor of the game, Professor Gloria, right there. Very nice. So here we go. We're going to open these two right now. Let's get into it. And let's see. So first, we're going to start off with Bede. And let me know, Lights, have any of you who are seeing this played a Pokemon game, um, played, like, uh, Sword and Shield, um, watched the anime? Let, let me know. I'm very curious on what your Pokemon experience has been like. Mine's have been pretty positive. I've just been on and off because compared to other series, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, after X, Y, and Z, I just kind of fell off. I don't know. I felt like that would have been a perfect good ending, in a way, for Ash, in a way. But then it just kind of re semi-reboot again afterwards like with sun and moon where it's like it looked like from black and white and like xy and xyz it looked like it felt like he grew older i know he's always supposed to be 10 even though canonically time passes in a pokemon world but whatever it's just an anime it doesn't really matter that much it's the thing where it's like he should have grown older but it just felt like he actually looked older and he sounded a little older in some way and he acted a little more mature but then it's like x sun and moon it's just like let's go back to square one and i don't know what the heck's with journeys i didn't get into it it looks cool i know it brings back a lot of fan favorites i know sun and moon brought back brock and misty i believe but you know stuff like that i'm not 100 percent sure of because I, I didn't check it out I, I i don't know so let me know is it like let me know what's worth watching or what's not i want to start conversations with you moments i do so here we go just like the last one we got a sticker right there very nice 
we got an actual like artwork and card with the the characters like signature Pokemon. Please focus. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see. I'm sorry, much for some reason when I get a little closer, it gets a little. Oh, that's not too bad. Very nice. So the Pokemon it has right there is Hatina or Hatena. Hat I think it's Hatena, like Antenna. Hatena Pokemon 856 of the Calm Pokemon. Okay. Um, height, uh, one foot four inches. Weight, seven point five pounds. Something else I could drop kick, I guess. Uh, via the 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 protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm dis disposition, it will never warm up to you. Okay, I'm guessing he probably does. Uh, Bayday looks pretty smug, kind of calm and cool, collected, but kind of smug at the same time. I mean, just look at this guy. You can just feel the smugness off him. Feel the confidence on this guy. All right. But here we go. We got um, the exact same artwork as the last two. Actually, wait. No, no, no. This is a different one. This Pokemon's different. I swear, this thing. It's like sort of chills one of those things where it's like, damn, I kind of wish I did get into it. Because I really like the character designs and the Pokemon and a lot of the music and stuff like that. Because uh, this is all Sword and Shield mods. The last video was Sword and Shield. This one is Sword and Shield. So, this is, uh, both of these are Crown Zenith. But uh, I actually didn't notice for some reason that other Pokemon with the sword... With the sword in the background. I don't know why I didn't notice that beforehand. I thought it was just like the line one. But no. It's like it's literally the one where you have one Pokemon that uses a sword in its mouth. And this one which is like it's kind of Lion Mane-esque fur. It's got like a shield right there. So it's like that is such a cool design. I love them so much. I just didn't get into them. Damn. If only it came out like 10 years earlier. Maybe I would have checked it out. Well, probably a little. Probably not 10 exactly. But whatever. Here we go. Getting into it. Whew, let's do this. Alright, so here's another one of the, the redeems if you play like the online or try to get rewards. I never really do those anyway. So here you go, mites. There's the code right there if you're interested. Go nuts. So, okay, we got Luxio right here. 80 HP. Rapid, uh, what is that? Rapid Strike right there. Jumping Kick and Head Bolt. Pretty cool. There we go. Which, um, actually, I just put it on top of the Shinx because I got, I actually got, like, a Shinx or two, I think, in the last video as well. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> got a rare candy, another one of those. Very nice. Actually, honestly, I feel like I could eat that, but then that's a very debated topic on what, how rare candies work. So I'm not going to get into that, and I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to risk that. We got Soul Rock, a really cool Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, opinion. Sun Energy, Spinning Attack, 90 HP. Right there, it's a uh, physical... Oh! Wait. What the heck is this? V-Star? Mites, I have no idea what this card is. V-Star. I mean, it looks cool. I like the logo design. I can, like, maybe get a sticker and, like, put it right there. Say, like, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a VIP. I'm a V-Star. I don't know. It's a cool card. I don't know what it's for. I feel like this would have been for a contest or something. Like, eh, yeah, and one of the... Like, in, like, you could get a tool in a cereal box. Or, like, if you do this and get this product, you can have a chance to find this. And then you win a contest. I feel like this would have been one of those. But the contest probably wouldn't have been over. Because that says 2022 and it's 2024. So, wamp, wamp. Oh, well. We have Ditto right here. Actually, a shiny Ditto. Uh, not literally a shiny Ditto, but we have uh, the artwork you can see right there, like the, the rainbow effect right there from the light reflections. Very nice. Normal. 70. Sudden Transformation. It's an, it's an ability. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile, except for Pokemon with a rule box. Pokemon V, GX, etc. have rule boxes. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. So... It's a, it's a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a save-up for this Ditto. It is. And it doesn't have a ton of health, but maybe it could be useful. I don't know. Oh, boys, we got a good one. We got a really nice, rare, good one. Latias. Very cool. I actually like... My favorite color is blue, so maybe I would have preferred Latios, but uh, Latias is still very, very fair. It's 120 with a dragon. It's a fusion strike very interesting i guess it makes sense because it even got like a little bit of blue and red right there so you know latios and latias and very very cool red assist <laughs> fitting out it's red and dyna barrier for 70 interesting may touch energy from one hand uh one hand to one of your latios uh that's red assist the ability 
Dyna Barrier. During your opponent's next attacks, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon VMAX. Interesting, interesting. It looks like it's uh, it's a full art card too as well, and it's kind of like flying into like laundry lines and clothing lines. Oh, that's probably annoying for the people. Oh, come on. Come on, Latias. Don't do that. Those people need to do laundry. Come on. All right, <laughs> let's move on. But that is a really cool card. So next on, we got Rockruff, uh, physical uh, strength Pokemon. Uh, invite out, smash kick, 60 HP. Very nice. It's, uh, it's howling at the moon. How cute. It's howling at the moon. You got Execute. All right, 60, it's Psychic, and it's got Cybolt. Looks like they're all kind of uh, angry or, like, complaining at each other, I guess. Uh, Cheruby, Cherubu, uh, Cheruby, 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 I'm going to say Cheruby. Cheruby, 50 HP, Grass type, and it's got 10 damage on Leafage. So, that's not good at all. I'm sorry. Low health, low attack. I guess if you need to discard some cards in, like, for, for some reason. Young Goose right there. Too many Young Gooses! Young Goose, you got 70 with normal, and then you got Sharp Fang for 20. It's be Young Goose, it's better than the Cheruby, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it's not great either. But anyway, um, and the last one, we have Amoga. There we go, boys. 70 HP, it's electric, uh, and Thundershock, aka one of the Pika many Pikachu ripoffs from like the regions and stuff like that. Uh, Thundershock for 30 damage, and there we go. Alright, so there we are. Let's keep it moving with the second pack. Let's go. Alright. Uh, okay, so these are all from Galar. Sword and Shield. It's from the Galar region, Husui and Beyond. Okay. Oh, so, so, so the two Pokemon on the front of the pack right there with the sword and the shield, literally. The legendary heroes... Zacian and Zamazenta shine with new V-Star powers. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep this moving, Mars. Let's keep this moving. I already see what's the last Pokemon going to be. I already saw it. But here we go. We got another code right there for anybody who wants that. Because I will. Maybe I'll put them in the description. I'm not sure, Mars. It might not be there because it's probably not going to be worth all, like, 15 of these. Well, not 15, literally. I don't know. But I'm just showing them if you want them because I never redeemed them in my life, really. Rescue Carrier. Maybe I tried it once because I know I had it on my old PC, like the actual game. But I don't think I really got into it, so it's fine. You can have it. I don't care. Rescue Carrier. We got that last time. We got to pick up two Pokemon, each with 90 HP or less, from this card pile into hand. Very nice. So let's see. It looks like we're not going to get too many unique Pokemon compared to because I did get I did open the other two last time. Um, I did open Hop and, Mar and, Mar and Mari. So, it looks like these are more or less going to be a lot of the same ones. So, we have Electric right there, 80 HP. It's got Ad Hot Shock and Static Shock. We got the Digging Duo. I think we got that one last time as well. The Ninja Turtle ones right there. You can see, like, what their 8-pack right there. Like, the, the Skewt, the Turtle Pecs. I don't know what... I don't know. I mean, it looks like a fine outfit. I'm just saying. It reminds me of the Ninja Turtles right there. I don't know who these two people are. Never seen them before in my life. We got a Strength Energy. Very nice. I actually very much like this. I actually do like the energies a lot. Because uh, throughout the years, they've changed the designs of the energies. Some of them pretty basic. Some of them look very nice. So I'm actually very curious on how many of these we'll get. Ooh! So, Moise, I did get Skrelp earlier. So now, we're getting the Evolved version of Dragalge... Dragalge? Dragalge? Dragalge. Dragalge. I'm going to say Dragalge. Dragalge, which is a dark type with 120 HP, Rocket Poison, and Razor Fin. Razor Fin does decent. What's Rocket Poison? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison. If this Pokemon evolved from Scrub during this turn, put 8 damage counters on that Pokemon instead of 1 during Pokemon checkup. Interesting. I don't, I, I, I don't know what that is. 8 damage counters? And also Pokemon Checkup. Not really sure what that means. I haven't played the game in a long time as well. Um, I haven't played it as well with that many people too. Very, very interesting. It's a very, very cool one as well. It's like a, it's like a water... I like how it's some... It's a thing where like... Unless you're playing the games itself. Or even like the mobile one like Pokemon Go. Which is one of the ones I've consistently played. You... They really basically defaulted to one type. Where it's like... I'm pretty sure Dragalge... Dragalge, whatever its name is. Is a... Is... It looks like it should be a water type based on like it's like seahorse, sea dragon type vibes. 
and you also have it where it's like a dragon type i think as well but they just usually default it to one i know some pokemon that have multiple types can also switch it like you can find let's say like like um i'm trying to think what's a good like let's say i'm just gonna use like let's just say you have one pokemon that's grass you can have a different car of the same pokemon that has electric like that's how it works basically like you need to get multiple it doesn't count for the same card um, either way, I feel like maybe they could do, like, something like that, where it's, like, half and half, like, the artwork, like, a slash, or in the middle, like, yellow and green. I don't know, maybe they've done that in the past. Leave a comment, let me know, I'm not sure. But here we go, 120 HP, very, very nice, pretty strong Pokemon. Trainer, switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. You may play any number of item cards during your turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's very shiny as well. We love the shininess. Um, a little bit, a little bit. It's got, like, that, the Pokemon, it's got, like, Pokeballs, like, um, coming up, and, like, with the arrow pattern. It's very interesting. Very nice. We got Starly. Right there, it's got Claw for 30 damage, 60. It's, uh, a normal, um, well, I don't really know what that type is, I forget. Um, ooh! This is a pretty interesting one. I think it's a fan favorite or a very interesting one. Scyther. It's a grass type right there. And it's got Mock Cut. Only 10. During, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Not a lot of damage. But it could save your life. Because, you know, you need the energies to do the attacks. So discarding one of your Pokemon... Uh, uh, like, if it's a powerful one. If they got a VMAX or EX or something like that, Moise. It could really, really help you, actually. So you end do a little tiny bit of damage. It's like... Neh. It's like... It's like sleight of hand. It's like, oh, I put. It's like, oh, you bumped into me and I stole your wallet. I guess <laughs> I don't know. What am I saying? Scyther stole my wallet. I don't know. But yeah, um, any damage, not a ton. It could be useful. But Scyther is a pretty cool Pokemon, uh, Pokemon in my opinion. We got actually a Pokeball right there too. Uh, let's see. Flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. All right. Pretty interesting. Uh, pretty standard looking one right there. Just a Pokemon, uh, just a Pokeball opening up. We got a Young Goose. Too many Young Gooses! I don't know <laughs> what I keep saying. Sharp Fang, 20, 70, normal. And then the final card, which I saw earlier, is Cherubi. We got Cherubi, uh, 50 with the Grass, and Leafage with 10. All right, there we go. So now, that is the end for Bay Day. Right there, Marts. Let's move on to the beautiful, the illustrious... Professor Gloria, let's move on. And I love the little electric, like, dog. I don't know what Pokemon it's called. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we'll get it. I'm not sure, because it feels like we've been getting a lot of the same ones. But every now and then, we do get a rare one. So, let's see. Maybe we'll get the electric Corgi. I'm going to call it the electric Corgi. It's cute. Ah, come on. What the heck? Why doesn't this one want to rip? The other ones were so much easier. Ah! What? Mines. I don't know. I was able to open all the other ones so much easier. Do I have something I can use here to rip it? Ah. Ah. Why won't you open? There we go. There, okay. Wow, that did not work at all. Okay, Mines, that's it. I'm sorry. This is, this is getting stupid now. Let me just get a pen. There we go. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, easy peasy. Didn't spend like three minutes doing that, right? I hope not. Please forgive me. All right, here we go. Professor Gloria, got the box open. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. So we got a very nice sticker once again, which um beautiful artwork. Seriously, the artwork in some of these are gorgeous mods. These are just so good. Right there, we got a we got another card right there. So we got four out of five. I wasn't able to get it. Maybe if I can find it on Amazon or eBay or something like that. I'm missing one card, which I think it's like Hop's older brother, who's the champion with the Charizard. That's the one I'm missing. So maybe in the future months, if you want to see more of this, maybe we can get that one in a later um a later unboxing or unpacking. I don't know. Uh, we'll continue watching, subscribe, like, and notification bell, all that. Just saying, just crash into it, but stay safe. <laughs> anyway, um. Yamp Yamper, it's called Yamper. 800 and Pokemon 835. Oh god, that hurts to say. Puppy Pokemon. Oh, that's cute. Height one foot. 
Weight, 29.8 pounds. Okay, so I probably can't drop kick this one, but I could still lift it. This Pokemon is very popular, I can see why it's very cute, as a herding dog in the, Ga in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Interesting. Another one where it's kind of like act doing something to generate electricity. So that's pretty cool. Alright. So here we go. Let's open up these last two. Alright, another... So two more. Two more of the Crown Zeniths. Nothing, uh, they're pretty much all the exact same, like, box, all, all the same. Oh, the back of the box mites! The back of the, the, the tin! I'll show you what's on there later, mites, because I didn't notice that until just now, because it was, like, being blocked by, like, the other info. So, here we go. Another redeem code, right there, for anybody who wants to see it. Have at it. I don't want it. Alright. We got some kicks. <laughs> we got some trekking shoes. Look at the top of look at the top card of your deck. You may put that card into your hand. If you don't, discard that card and draw a card. You play any number of these during your turn. Okay, mods. Pretty nice shoes. Not gonna lie. I don't know what's with the square. What's with like the square top right there? I don't. I don't know. Unless that looks kind of uncomfortable. I don't know. It, it, it kind of looks like an interesting pair of shoes. I doubt they made these in real life, but. I don't know. Would you wear them? Leave a comment. Let me know. It's uh, pretty interesting. And yeah, you look at the topic card, you can get that or draw another card or whatever. So here we go. I just like the shoes. I just really like the shoes. Um, Luxio, once again, one of my favorite Pokemon right there. Uh, you have uh, you have Shinx, Lux, uh, Luxio, and Luxray. Some of my favorite Pokemon right there, the electric one uh, right there. You have 80 HP, Rapid Strike, Jumping Kick, Head Bolt. Very nice. We saw that before. We have another Rare Candy. Very, very cool. Don't Not going to eat that because, you know, total conspiracy, Pokemon, uh, cannibalism, I don't know. <laughs> then you have a Psychic Energy. Very nice. Once again, it reminds me of kind of like a black hole, almost, with like the, the kind of like the, the rim, kind of like this like energy bursting out on the side, like a galaxy or something like that, like a, like a disc of a galaxy. And then you have like all the stars of like the stardust or explosion. It's just such a cool design, honestly. I, this might be one of my favorite designs of the energy. Maybe I'll go over that at some point, but probably not. Oh! my! this is such a cool card! This is such a cool card! Oh my god, and it's a Pikachu. Look at that, Might! Look at this! This is awesome. Yeah, shine that light. Shine that light. Shh, 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 shh. Might, this is so cool. 70 HP electric. Look at the Pokemon here. I don't even know. I think that's like a Crobat, I think. And then you have like Giga Pokemon as well. I don't even know a lot of these. One of these are the, uh, the legendaries right there with the sword in its, in its mouth. My, oh, this is so freaking awesome. Ah, I love this card so much. It's a full R1. Wild Charge. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. A lot of these electric Pokemon do damage to themselves. Are they generating so much electricity that they just hurt themselves? How does that work? I don't know. I guess it's like if you flex your muscle too hard, you pop a vein. <laughs> I guess. I have no idea, Mites. But still, this is so freaking awesome. It's got a bit of like a shine to it in certain parts too. If you if you like look at it, like with the texture. Oh, my! this might be one of the top cards. This might be, this might be the top card. I don't know. I don't know, Mites. This is going to be super cool once we like see it, see them all at the end. We got Absol, very strong Pokemon, very cool. It's a dark type with Slash, 100 HP, Lost Claw. Put a random card from your po opponent's hand in the Lost Zone. In the Lost Zone? What's that? Huh. I don't know if that's like, an, uh, uh, like a, a nerdy version of saying, like, I will Spanish you to the Dark Dimension or the Dark Zone or something like that. Like, in the Lost Zone. You mean the discard pile? Yeah, so I mean the discard pile. I don't know if that's something else. Either way... We got Corefish. Okay, we are getting a few new ones, actually, Moats. I thought we were going to kind of cycle to some of the ones we've seen before. But, no, we're getting a few new ones. We got Corefish with 70 HP. It's a water type with Water Gun and... I almost thought it said Crash Master for some reason. No, Crab Hammer. I'm Crash Master. Crab Hammer. Pretty decent, actually, compared to some of the other lower, uh, lower ones where usually they do, like, 10 or 30 damage. That's not too bad. It does require two normal energy and a water. But still, that's, that's not that bad. We got Aron, Aron, I'm going to say Aron, 70 HP, it's a metal type, very, very nice artwork actually, very cute, it's very uh, hand-drawn, like a what color pencil almost, 
Ram and Slight Intrusion. <laughs> Slight Intrusion. This Pokemon also does tan damage to itself. What's with some of these Pokemon do? I mean, I guess it looks like it would just headbutt you with, like, its skull, like its metal. You think with the metal, it would, it would protect itself, but I guess maybe it hurts the, with the force itself. Like, dang, it's like, oh, you know, it's like if you're wearing a helmet, if you headbutt someone, it'll still hurt you unless you have, like, padding in the inside, which they really don't. But... Either way, it's a very it's a very cute Pokemon. It's actually very it's actually one of the ones I, I actually really use uh the most and like the most at the time. Um in Pokemon Go. So very, very cool. Might keep that one. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll make a deck with one of these mods. I don't know. Would you like to see me make a deck with some of these? Because uh these some of these are pretty dang cool. Um I don't know if there might be not enough. There might be, because some of them are duplicates. Some of them are duplicates, so I'm not sure if I'll have enough to make a full deck. Because a deck is 60 cards, and I have I did um I have 80. 80 in total, all of all four of like the, the, the tins. So we have a potion right here. Pretty basic right there. Heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Actually, it's a funky it's a funky looking. How would you even spray that? It looks like it doesn't push down. Like you squeeze it. It looks like it might be squeezable. I have no idea. I prefer the, the Pokemon Go designs, honestly. That one looks a little funky. Looks like a weird toy or something. I have no idea. We have a seal. 70 HP, water, headbutt 10, rain splash 20. At least it doesn't damage itself, and it's only one energy and two energy. So you know what? That's actually not bad. Seal, you're not one of my favorites. No offense. You look you look pretty cute, but you know, it's actually not bad. Plus, it doesn't hurt itself. So there you go, Moids. Uh Oddish. Classic Pokemon. Uh Pokemon a lot of people know and like. Oddish, 50, it's a uh, 50 HP, it's a grass type. Leaf Boomerang, that's kind of cool, uh, sounding attack. Flip two coins, attack does 10 damage for each head. So, 20 damage at the max. Eh, it's, it's something. Zero chance, which probably I would. So, I don't know if I would use you, Oddish, but hey, you look happy. You have some very nice, cheerful artwork, and that's what matters. Alright, so here we go, Moites. The last pack. Let's do this, the last pack. All right, here we go. We have some more redeeming rewards right there, boys. Boom, there you go. Got the code, okay. Let's do this, final, 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 what is this, 10? I actually haven't been counting. It's like usually 10 or 11. I think it's 10 minus, I think it's 10 plus the, the redeem code one, so let's do this. Um, crushing hammer. Trainer item. Flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. That's pretty good. Especially since uh, right there at the bottom, of it, it says you may play any number of items during your turn. So this could actually be pretty useful. Pretty interesting. It's a new one, too. It's a new one. I've never seen this one before as well. And I haven't gotten one before, so that's pretty cool. It almost reminds me of, like... I don't know, it reminds me of like a play hammer, like one of the ones where it's like a spring where it's like squishy on the ends, like it kind of deflates with air. Kind of reminds me of that, but it almost looks like it's made of rubber. It feels like this hammer would not hurt you, but it might be just red metal, painted metal, and then that's going to hurt you. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's smashing glass, so it's got to be tough enough as well. Ultra Ball, that's cool. You can use this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Wait, so you can use this card only if you discard two others. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in your hand to shuffle the deck. Okay, just making sure I, I, I remember all that because I just more or less read it. Because sometimes once you can actually just read stuff and not remember it, I have to, I have to not do that. Trainer, Ultra Ball. Uh, as you can see, it's actually got some artwork. It's not like a normal one where it's like the back where it's just like kind of a stock image in a way. It's actually got some pretty unique artwork. In a way, it's like really fuzzy too. I actually kind of like that. It's pretty interesting. Here we go. Uh, we have Gloom evolves from Oddish. So now we can evolve our Oddish into Gloom. 70 HP. It's a grass type. And it has offensive scent. <laughs> I find your scent very offensive, Gloom. Well, duh. That's my attack. Oh, uh, okay. Good job, I guess. But you still, you're, it still offends me. So it's, why? It's attack is farting, burping pollinating i don't know <laughs> i have no idea or drooling maybe it's it's smelly drool maybe it just hasn't brushed his teeth a lot because it's drooling a lot so your pokemon your opponent's active pokemon is now confused and poisoned oh maybe it was the drool maybe i have no idea <laughs> i guess it's just that offensive that it poisons your pokemon what <laughs> okay 
We got a physical slash strength energy right here. Very, very nice. I love that design so much. Like the star gal galaxy kind of feel to it. Oh, this might be one of the best cards. I don't know if it was better than the, the Pikachu one with all the Pokemon around lights. This card is so damn cool. Zeraora. 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 V. 210 HP. Electric. Claw Slash for 50. Thunderous Bolt. Not Thunderbolt. Th screw your Pikachu with your Thunderbolt. We got Zora. Zera Aura V with Thunderous Bolt for 190 damage. Marts, that's insane. Two electric and um two electric energy and one normal energy slash basic. That's not that bad for an attack that powerful, I think. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, so it's a one it's almost a one shot. So you gotta do it by 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 turns, like every other turn, basically. I dropped it. Oops, my bad. V rule. When your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Ooh, so you really gotta make sure you, you keep these apparently marks, because I didn't realize that. Um But yeah, look at just look at the electric in the blue with the shine on that marks. That looks so cool. This might be one of my favorites. This honestly, I used to really like blue used to be well, I mean used to be. Blue is still my favorite color to date, pretty much. Like, some colors I like as well, like orange and yellow. Um, electric types, though, I don't know what it is. Like, some of them, like, maybe it's, like, Luxray, because he has blue, like, Sphinx and Luxio, they have blue. And uh, right there, you have, like, the blue electricity lightning that you see in some franchises and some movies. But electric types just do it for me. I love water types, and I, I used to, they used to be my favorites. And it's hard to tell, because I have so many, just kind of a sporadic one. But if I were to choose, it would be water or electric types as my favorites, personally. Especially like just like that, Zor I can't even pronounce your the, the name of it, and it's so freaking cool. It's so cool, mites. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's finish this up right now. Nessa. Okay, I know this character from a uh, Sword and Shield a little bit. I've seen them a little bit. Right there, it's a supporter or trainer card. Uh, pick up to four in any combination of water Pokemon. Yeah, she's all she's like the water gym leader, I guess. I think so. And water energies from your discard pile into your hand. Right there. Get a nicer look. Come on, focus a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Um, you may play only one supporter card during your turn. Okay. So there we go. There's another rule right there. I'm gonna put this right there. We have another switch right there with the Pokeballs. We got another switch item. We have another Starly right there, which is 60 normal claw, 30. Um, it flip a coin. If Tails, this attack does nothing. So you got a 50-50 chance of using the attack in general. I don't know if that's better or worse. For me, it's probably worse because I probably because my luck is terrible. So would I choose this Pokemon that has a 50% chance of its attack doing only attack doing nothing, or would I choose a Pokemon that also hurts itself but hurts the opponent? Probably that one in general, just because it might get taken out. A lot of these other powerful Pokemon are very easy to just one-shot. with Attacks like 9, 190, 200 damage. So, you know, it's not going to do much. I probably would choose the ones that hurts itself, though, because at least it's a guarantee for damage, and it's not just a risk. Especially, I guess it depends on how lucky you are, your playstyle. Cherubi, 50 health, grass type, 10 with a leafage attack, 10 damage. Too many Young Gooses! Young Goose, 70 HP, normal, Sharp Fang, 20, and the final card, my, the final card for the Sword and Shield packs that I, uh, for the tin packs, each one, each one of the, the box, the tin boxes, each one of these have two packs, so this is the final one of them all from Professor Gloria, Ryolu, okay, Ryolu's pretty cool, and especially like, uh, with, um, you know, it's Evolve of State later on, of um was it lucario and mega lucario lucario is such a like interesting character with its lore and like the soul like special energy you like using stuff like that like the aura control such a cool one but right there mo it's ryolu so it's a star we got the star low kick 50 damage not too bad for uh, a physical fighting type as well so also number 100 number 447 oh my god wow but there we go mo it's that is all of them right there so before we close off this video, I want to show you all the art that I didn't notice at the at the back. Right there. Please focus. Please focus if you can. If I 
goes slow. If it goes slow. You see all of them, it's the artwork. So the artworks I have on stickers and on cards, I have Marie, Hop, Professor Gloria, and Bede, but I don't have Hop's older brother slash the champion right there, who also looks very cool. I need to I don't know his name at the top of my head. But overall, really cool. We got some stickers, we got some artwork, we got some pretty damn cool cards overall, Mods. I gotta say, I think this was worth it. But let me see, how much was each of these? So each of these I bought at the convention that I went to was $9.99, was $10 each. So $40 bucks for 80 cards, plus stickers, plus some of this artwork as well, as you can see. Can I actually, let me see, can I connect some of these? Let me see, that's a sticker. Uh, which one's a sticker, which one's not? Let me see. Can I, like... Oh, my! you can! You can, like, actually connect them if you want. See, like, the, the tree right there, it connects? Like, a, there we go. Like, right there, see? So you can actually make it, like, the back of it, too. So maybe someday, if you want mines, I'll unbox the last one, and I'll see if I can get one of those of uh, Hop's older brother slash the Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield champion. That could be really cool. But anyways, mines, that's gonna be the end of the video right now. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please crash into the like button. And the subscribe button. And if you want, you might as well just go and crash into that notification bell because it's right there. Just get a wide enough car with your front bumper and just shoot all three of them at the same time. Right there. It's super easy. Super fast. It should be no problem for all of you to do. And please, leave a comment if you want on your injuries. No, I'm kidding. Please don't. I do not condone crashing. But yeah, I'm a professional, so please don't do it. It's very bad for your health. But yeah, anyway, just let me know, Mike. Do you want to see more of these in the future? Um, maybe should I do it on a second channel if I can? I've been thinking about that sometimes. I'm not really sure because I feel like I just want to keep everything on this one channel. I don't know. But anyways, that's going to be it for now. Like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. It really means a lot that you checked me out. And I will see and the cards out, of course, this one. Not just me. The cards as well. And I will see you all later. Let them all.